Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Contrary to Trump's denials that he had sex with Stormy Daniels, Michael Cohen testified today that when he asked Donald Trump if anything had happened between him and Stormy Daniels, Trump bragged to Michael Cohen that, yeah, even though he was there at this golf event with Big Ben Roethlisberger, the women there, like Stormy Daniels, they wanted him more than they wanted Big Ben. <laughs> Just think I'm gonna buy Okay, Rachel Maddow has stolen my entire app. She did the gagging on stage on, on TV last night. I had to put a uh, tarp down like a Gallagher uh, oh, concert, yeah? and we're gonna need a bigger tarp for Albuquerque okay. this weekend, Chris, just to give you a heads up. All right. I, talking about the details, Rachel Maddow, obviously, Rachel Maddow's daddy told her that I did the barfing bit, and Rachel, that was fantastic. It's really hard not to, isn't it? Yeah. Jody, I mean, it doesn't even, it's not even a gay woman. It's any woman. It's any, <laughs> yeah, it's gross. Maybe even men. Just, oh. oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't with the details. Yes, Rachel Maddow uh, rehashed uh, Michael Ho- um, Cohen's testimony uh, making a gagging sound. <laughs> um, uh, I can't. Oh, welcome back, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, look what I'm wearing. Wiggins. I. Is it, does the camera add like 50 pounds? That's, it's very large, but it's, it's a delightful Sheboygan t-shirt that uh, someone gave me at Sexy Liberal Madison. Are you looking for the oh, symphony? Wow. Okay. I, cause I, oh my God. Amazing, amazing crowd in uh, Madison. Thank you so much, everybody. It was a packed house. And I have to tell you, you know, I get up at. At stupid o'clock. Get up. Insane o'clock. <laughs> so this show is like, I don't know. It, it feels like midnight. <laughs> to me whatever time it is uh-huh. but that crowd was so electric uh it was amazing and so i i got my oh. second wind oh good, good. yes good. And I, I got a mom hug from karen in chicago oh because she said it was both our our first mother's day without our mom and so i got a and i did it extra long because uh you know boobies yeah she has a extraordinary she breath. has oh, a very booby, nice rack booby, 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 boobies. Okay. <laughs> and representative mark pocan was fantastic john nichols was amazing I did, I heard you in my head, Chris, say, what is wrong with you? Because at one point... What did you do now? Well, I blame you, because you know how you tend to point out different representatives, and you go, you know, he's a homo. Right. And so oh, God. On the panel, I said, that to now, his face? Representative Buchanan, you, like me, you are a homo. As a noted homo. <laughs> Which got a huge laugh. And he, he laughed. laughed. Yes, did he, he laughed. laughed. Did and then I turned laugh? to John Nichols, and I said, you know, I'm a... Liquor. And I didn't realize what I had said. And then that's the way, if you see the picture of uh, Angela V. Shelton, her face is <laughs> that springtime for Hitler. Kind you of. said the C word to a congressman? I, I did, but he laughed. Uh, I just, I, I didn't realize what I had uh, blurted. There's something about the Madison crowds, uh, Chris, you have to understand. They're a little crazy. Well, it was graduation and Mother's Day weekend. Yes. So. Yes. And our hotel was in Sheboygan, South Dakota. <laughs> okay. Somewhere. It was so far away. <laughs> I taped a piece being hunted by Christy Noem in the woods. <laughs> I saw that. Yes. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hilarious. It was. All right. You did skits. I did. <laughs> Christopher. Oh, okay. Uh, catch him off guard. You guys did great yesterday, by the way. I love you. Okay. A- at least we were on the air. Yeah. Oh. At least the internet we was working. We got fantastic reviews for the Friday uh, <laughs> S show. Where we had no internet and no guests and no callers. I, Make it happen, everybody. Do the morning radio for everybody. Yeah. yeah. You know, they always tell you in, in radio school to you know prepare a show as if you have no yes. guests or no callers. Yeah. That, that was happened like, on Friday. That was going back to broadcasting school. Uh-huh. Huh. Yeah. Got, we have reviews all over the place. Oh, okay. Pam, dear Steph, your show on Friday was terrific. Maybe because your fiber optic was broken, your team felt a little more relaxed <laughs> and that not many were witnessing your banter. Mm. Just want to tell you how much fun the show was. Saw you in San Francisco. It was fantastic. Oh. Wow. San Francisco, sexy liberals, things like 11 TV billion years yeah. ago and we should point out that if people want to hear friday's show yes we did a show my dad's got a barn we put on a show yes just go to the stephanie miller's happy hour podcast and it's it's you know a it's few in there it's in there we put it's it in the feed for free yes it was very king of comedy wasn't it like i didn't <laughs> we had i didn't even know if you guys were cardboard cutouts we were just doing a show just... i was sandra bernhardt yes yeah <laughs> oh i'm sorry it was jerry with... lewis <laughs> yeah. that's you lady <laughs> <laughs> Oh, does that make me Jerry Lewis, noted misogynist? Yeah. Well, who's, who is, um... Well, with the hitting and the hoiding. Oh, okay. All right. Who said, 
Who's Robert De Niro? Yeah, who's De Niro? Carlos sells Rocky, obviously. obviously. He wasn't there because we, we couldn't have him on. <laughs> <laughs> Who said the odds are better than 50-50? The presumptive Republican presidential candidate will be a convicted criminal going into his party's convention. That's a black swan event in American history, and it ought to be covered uh, like one every day. Who said that? The Slee Stack. No. <laughs> Charlie Pierce, oh. who will join us next hour. And then Brooklyn Dad Defiant in hour three. Yep. Yeah. We're back, bitches. Uh, I gotta go to Albuquerque. <laughs> this tour's gonna come. I'm going to Albuquerque too. Yes, you are. And we're not gonna take a wrong turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> Lug in a box of merch. Does this mean I have to check a, a bag <laughs> uh, to apparently. Albuquerque? I don't know. On you. <laughs> Great. Oh, boy. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, uh, wow, uh, he was very uh, yelly. Trump was very yelly yesterday. He, uh, uh, farty and, and snorry, was joined by yelly outside uh-huh. the courtroom yeah. yesterday. Gummy and cokey. What happened? Did Michael Cohen trigger him in some way? You think so? You think so? He seemed Discuss. really angry. He was very mad. Somebody, yeah. somebody said it was personal. Like Tony did Christopher in The Sopranos. It was personal. Mm. Never saw The Sopranos. Same. I don't know that. I don't get that never, reference. So you didn't get the either. reference to me bringing ketchup packets into the woods? Because I was lost in wherever our hotel was. No. So that I, I thought that was just. That's what they had. The only thing they had to eat was ketchup packets. That's why it was hilarious. Oh, I thought that was just you. your peculiarity. No. <laughs> it's the scene where they get Christopher. I, they get lost in the woods. I never watched The Sopranos. Oh, yeah. my God. You, you're you both fired. Okay. No, not right now. Not right now. <laughs> not right now. We both start talking. Okay. Right, no, no, no. Bye. Not right now. <laughs> Can I just say, by the way, Chris, you uh, threaded about this. I threaded back at you. I just, oh, yes. Ah, I, you know, it's one of the, first of all, can I just say, the crowds give me life. Those yeah. meet and greets and the people are just uh, the dearest souls and they just, the stories they share and that they come out uh, to, you know, that we're, we're it's, I'm 11 billion now. Just 13. We started this tour 13 years ago yes. in Madison. Yes. And we've still got packed, amazing houses and people just uh, sharing a lot of their everything. Life stories, heartbreak, you name it. But uh, Chris threaded that uh, Sam Rubin died. He was yeah. the yeah. entertainment reporter here so sad. on KTLA and uh, Morning Five, News. Yeah. 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 And he was so kind to me. I, as I said to you, Chris, he promoted every single thing I ever did. Yep. I was thinking, oh, I got to call him for L.A. Sexy Liberal. Right. 64 years old, I'd have a heart attack yeah. really suddenly. Yeah. Uh, and it's just, I, I've got three, I think I've mentioned this, three friends exactly my age that all have heart issues. Yeah. And so it just, the whole experience reminded me, it, it, Madison, too, just uh, hug people you love, tell yeah. them you love them every day. His son oh. did this heartbreaking I saw that this morning. I tribute was... to his dad on the KTLA, and it just oh. I'm on the. Do you remember when I got fired by KBC? Yes, yeah. several firings ago. Uh, just that I, I know I need to be specific. K, yes, KBC Radio, not yes. TV. No, you were never fired. That was from, different. You were never fired. That from... was a different firing. Okay, you're thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll never forget. Sam had me for some reason to his house to do the show oh. that morning. He was doing the show. So I'm at that, his house playing with his kids and yeah. his pets. And we did this whole funny, like, infomercial, like, you know, that I got fired, and so now I have to work as yeah. Sam Rubin's nanny. Or I can't even remember what the whole bit was. But we it went on all morning, and I'm sitting, like, on the floor of his <laughs> living room. Yeah. And he was just such a kind, yes. you know, generous heart. And he yeah. just I just remember he was so supportive, no matter what happened to me. Like, I was promoting something great or this whole, I mean, literally, who does that? You've been fired. And I think right. he worked for a lot of the same companies. Mm-hmm. So he's like, sure, come on, let's talk about it. And he was like, yeah. she had the highest ratings on this station. What are you doing on my living room floor? It was just, it was, anyway, <laughs> yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I just, ugh. I know. Every now and again, you know, it's just something hits you where you're like, people I, that are, you know. He was the, you know, like I said in my thread, he was the absolute pinnacle of entertainment yeah. journalism. Everyone loved him. And yeah. even, even the anchors of Entertainment Tonight, yeah. the current anchors of Entertainment Tonight, yeah. um, uh, uh, threaded their their condolences. Uh, they they knew what a giant he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know he he was amazing. Yeah, big hearted. Yes. And that's what I. Karen, Hollywood Karen in Chicago. Him. Thank yeah. you for the first time ever uh, making an audience cry. It's, <laughs> I came out to the audience and she said, "I know this is your first Mother's Day without your mom, and you said you need a hug." So you know, of course she, you know, and it, it, she's also without her mom. And yeah. so there's more things that connect us than divide us. We have to remember that. And also. Uh, where is it? I just, I need a uh, happy clappy. Hang on, hold please. Oh, here it is. <laughs>
I got it. Nobody helped me. Okay. Oh, no one was we going to. No one was going to. <laughs> no, we weren't. I'm on my own. Okay, fine. <laughs> you already fired us once today. Yeah, right. You're rehired. You no. are rehired. Okay. okay. Boy, no, the... With no raise, but you're rehired. Oh, boy, HR's going to love all that paperwork. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> She's right in the dumpster there. Oh, my God. Have you noticed Trump's doing his impression of me? I've had the entire internet oh printed God. out. Yeah. And here's a bunch of things people oh, yeah. say. And it's all Fox News. Fox News pundits. Oh, and also noted biscuit maker Tim Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Scott says, wow, I did not think there was enough room up Trump's ass with Lindsey Graham there. But wow, you can get J.D. Vance and uh, Senator Football McDump uh -huh. up his ass. And Mark Johnson's oh my going to court today. Mike Johnson. Mike, whatever. Right. If you have trouble speaker. Telling your Johnsons apart, Lauren Pobert can give you a hand. Okay. Uh -huh. I have a Johnson you at home. You set me up for that. You set me up I for that. I have my own Johnson Because in home. Wisconsin, we, you know, they have trouble. Ron Johnson, Mike Johnson. Lauren Pobert, give you a hand. Okay. That joke killed. I'm sure okay. it did. They like the handy, handy J It'll jokes there. It'll kill in there. Colorado, too. Yeah. They like everything in Madison. That's what I love about them. <laughs> <laughs> Walked on stage. They're dirty. Woo! They're dirty oh, in Madison. Oh, they love the filthy humor. <laughs> And Valerie Plame will be rappelling into the building That's as right. our special guest in Albuquerque. That's going to be very exciting. Yes. Quick impression, Valerie Plame arriving at the theater. That's her doing crayons bottoms up this side of the building. She's a former spy. I know. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. No, I got yeah. it. She's here. Okay. And then we're going to drop her down like like Tom Cruise in, in Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Yeah. Zzz. Uh -huh. Okay. Where was I? I don't know. Oh, it and was then she'll remove the news. mask and she's Lauren Bobert. <gasps> no! <laughs> Scooby, no. Um, an American university professor who has correctly predicted the winners of nine out of the last 10 presidential elections shared his 2024 pick. Who is it, Chris? Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Whee! Don't get happy. Right. Yeah. Alan you can't Lick count on that. Al Alan yeah. Lichtman. Lichtman. The only time he's been wrong is 2000 and, you know. Corrupt Supreme Court. Technically, so I'm just saying, he was there's right. all kinds of factors. Technically, then he yes. was right. Al Gore did win. He did win. Yes. Um, he, uh, they write political rights. He thinks Joe Biden's going to win. That's right. So even though we have polling today, the show shows Trump's ahead. Even though there's been polling for months, it shows Trump ahead in key swing states. Alan Lickman believes Joe Biden, not because of polling, but because of economics, because of incumbency, because of the not scandal, etc. Th these 13 keys, they're enough that Joe Biden is going to be reelected. <laughs> I believe that, too. I'm afraid to say it out loud. Don't get happy. Turn out and vote. All right. As Rachel Maddow says, when she's not gagging over Donald Trump's sex life, democracy is mortal. It can die. It's up to you. You. Pointing at you, America. Okay. All right. So lots to get to with the uh, <laughs> trial. <laughs> There'll be more today. Wow. <laughs> Quite the family man, right? Holy mm -hmm. cow. <laughs> He's such a pig, Jody. Not even the sex parts. Just the when Cohen says, "What's Melania gonna think? Who cares? You think I'll be on the market very long?" I'm like, really? Oh, I just think I'm gonna buy. Oh it's God, I stress. Just ugh. him in satin pajamas. I just yeah. think I'm gonna buy. <laughs> You are invited to Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. It's the political comedy event of the year, and it's coming to a city near you. Join Stephanie Miller, the queen of progressive talk radio, along with Hal Sparks, John Fugelsang, and the comedy duo Frangela, mocking all the fascists and trolls for a tour that is hilarious, inspiring, and deeply offensive to just the right people. It's an all-new tour with all-new guests and a side-splitting evening of stand-up. Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. 